It is January 9th, it's a Monday, and I am so excited to crush this week, but I launched my very first full podcast episode, and this was such an inspiring one to me because I just went all in. I was literally so scared, and I feel like as soon as I pressed play, I literally just like spoke, and whatever came out of me came out of me because that's what... I feel like was meant to be said and I'm just so proud of myself like literally I've been just planning so much behind cry chat and the meaning of it is just so important to me and I'm just so excited to start this journey I'm excited for all of you guys who watch my YouTube videos to go check out cry chat on Apple podcasts Spotify podcasts I actually have like a Buzzsprout link. I'm trying to get everything organized so it's easy on my website for you guys to find certain things. But I'm at the gym, so we're about to hit this leg day, go home, finish some last minute work, shower, and get ready for a solid night of sleep. I freaking am so excited for this year. Like, I am just taking everything I do so seriously and I'm really spending a lot of time off social media like scrolling and just like mindlessly not giving myself purpose behind what I'm doing on when I go on the apps and stuff. I feel like I want to prioritize YouTube over that and I stop rambling because I need to go inside and crush this workout before 4 o'clock so let's get it. Workout is done. I think I need to sneeze. Oh my gosh. I've been sneezing for like the past three days, just like so much randomly, but workout is done. My legs are destroyed and it's literally four on the dot. We did it. I'm gonna go home, freshen up just to get ready for the night because I am tired. You can literally see it in my eyes and I want to get on my shit more this week than I was last week. So welcome back, you guys. It has been a crazy few days. It is Saturday. I just got done cleaning up the house. I'm about to give my puppy a bath. We got a lot to do. Say hi, go ahead. Go ahead, say hi. Yeah, every time I'm talking to you guys, she does this. It's I know, I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to the peoples. I'm talking to the peoples. Anyway, I'm going to give my dog a bath. Then I'm gonna finish the straightening up, finish the laundry. And then I'm, I'm gonna do some work and probably dye my hair. So not only am I doing my hair currently, it just needs to go one shade darker. I don't want my hair to fall off, so I have to wait a few days before I can dye it again. But on the 1st of February, I'm actually getting my lips blushed, which is like tattooing on your lips. My girl Julie is doing that for me and I'm just very excited. Always wanted to do something for myself, whether it was like get my nose fixed or just like do something with my lips or maybe even just like my eyebrows, get them more like evenly shaped. But I think they're actually pretty good right now. I'm trying to like let them grow out. But I just wanna take you guys on the journey with me so you're gonna see my whole hair transformation and then what we're going to do for these lips i'm actually so excited i think it's just gonna make them look more like i'm wearing lipstick or like a lip gloss all the time i'm gonna bring my kylie jenner lip gloss my favorite shade because that's what she's gonna try to match it to i'm so nervous i'm so excited though but Ooh, it is day 28 of the gymshark 66 challenge we're at the gym it is back day i'm feeling so good it's the last day of january too so i'm excited for february literally so excited it's not even funny you guys let me take you on a tour of my gym because it is so cute <laughs> hey yes i did it's literally hailing outside yeah am i good thank you thank you i yeah i it's getting longer but yesterday you saw how it was so bright this like gave yeah, it, I see, yeah. yeah this, you were like, don't mind my hair. I know, I, I, li I have OCD really bad. So like, I, I notice it cause I think I see myself every day, but like, I don't know. You I can tell you just got it done. Yeah, oh yeah, I have to wait like at least a week or so for my roots to start coming in. That's when it looks like really good. Last time was more like, a, it was like that, but I feel like it was darker. 
Yeah. It's I some like it. I kind of I switch it up every every time, but I like the magenta fuchsia look. Me too. Thank you. Very good time. Yes, sir. I genuinely had such a productive day. I'm getting a phone call. Day 29 of the Gymshark 66 challenge. And you guys, it's February 1st. That's the big thing right now. It's the start of a new month. I am going all in. I don't want to say different this month, but I'm giving more. I am ready to just stretch this month. I reflected very, very well on last month and got clear on what it is that I need to work on. But I'm just, I love the new month. I'm so excited for it. I just made my greens. Also, another big thing that's happening today is I am taking you guys through getting my lips blushed. I'm literally so excited because I just want it to look like that I have like a lip gloss on all the time. That's what we're going for. But I'm so, so excited. About to get ready for the day, freshen up. I cannot believe I'm getting my lips done today. Lip around it. Oh. Hmm? <clears throat> Your nails are cute. It's three o'clock. We are making amazing time today. I just have to drop this off at UPS, get gas, and then I'm gonna come home, eat something, check my emails again, probably read a little bit, and just keep going with the flow kind of day. Guys, I just got to the UPS store. I did not bring my wallet or my purse and my boyfriend's wallet's not here because I need to get gas and I need to drive 15 minutes home and I'm really low on gas like bruh so the package just finally dropped off that's crazy I had to drive there twice but I'm about to go get gas I am so hungry I feel like having a protein shake when I get home I am so freaking excited, you guys, because I am just like, every single day is a blessing to me, and I am more and more, like every day, the more I record for YouTube, the more I'm getting excited to do it, and the more I'm like, oh, like I could do this, or I could do that, like just coming up with more creative ideas, so your girl is just so excited, and I genuinely want to just say that I am so thankful for whoever watches my YouTube videos and supports me through my journey. It's gonna be a very long one, but a magical one. And I'm banking on God for that. So just seriously, thank you. Because without my viewers and the people who are supporting me, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today. So yeah it is day 32 of the gymshark 66 challenge i'm officially a full month in and holy crap i cannot believe not only am i 32 days in already but i just cannot believe how much growth i'm seeing in myself daily literally daily my mindset is evolving and i feel like i'm getting so much better with like things that triggered me in the past learning more like control over how i react to things and it's really helping me stay on track with what i'm doing i'm also just loving filming for youtube i cannot wait to put this video together i really am just so excited because the entire point of this video is to just document how I'm doing throughout the entire 66 days. I really want to be in line with everything that I'm doing and just be in tune with not just like my self-awareness, but also the things that are opportunities throughout my day, the things that are there to help me grow. Although they may seem hard, they're there to help me be a better person to show up more as my future self and honestly this challenge I'm so like I said I'm so thankful that I took part in it because I feel like without really committing to doing something like this I 
I would still figure out something to do, but I just have so much love for Gymshark. And because of that, it's just making all of this so much more worthy. So yeah. But day 32, I did a lot of client work today. I stayed off my phone, have not scrolled, and it just feels so good to be able to just be present with what's in front of you and not like spend two hours on your phone doing stuff that you're not even gonna remember you just did. It sucks because I know my job is on my phone, but this is just helping my mental health like major. I'm gonna try to actually see how long I could stick to doing like that. Just building the habit of it now is gonna help me throughout the rest of my year. Cause a big goal is to just not be as attached to my phone as I was last year with just like posting every single day. Like I think it was a big part of me just growing, but it was also like so draining and I think it kind of sucked out the fun for me coming on to social media to share content. Like I wanna be able to go onto the apps and see stuff that I genuinely care about, but also am gaining something from, because I think there's just a lot of ways you can go about using social media, and I would like to use it in an educated knowledge way. It's the next day. It is not January. It is February 5th, 2023. It's 6.20 in the morning. I was up really late last night and stayed up till now. I got like a four or five hour nap before I got up last night, so I'm not tired, but I know that's gonna mess with my sleep today. So my focus today is to just get my mental health in check. I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna do some client work. I'm just gonna do the things that I need to rejuvenate my my soul. We're here at our desk getting our clients messaged, getting some work done on their programs and just making sure that they're set up so I can focus on myself today. I actually just found out a few days ago that my uncle passed away and it's just crazy because this month is 10 years since my dad passed away and now we have somebody else who left our family and it's just, it's insane. It's it's so insane and I I just I really struggled during the month of February so just trying to keep everything together and keep myself still showing up and that's the thing even if it's a little bit here and there and you showed up that's still a win I just can't let myself fall into a track of not doing anything and letting my feelings and emotions take over everything so it's small progress always always shooting to get one percent better every day and i know god's on my side he's working for me and not against me and i have faith in that so with everything that i may be struggling with i just have faith in what's coming and the bigger purpose out of whatever it is that I go through. So that's my morning motivation. We are in New York, New York. I'm just kidding, we're in AC. <laughs> All right, Nick, we gotta walk like the Beatles. Everybody get a line. <laughs> go Eagles, E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. Yeah! I am feeling so much better now than I was earlier. I feel like I just needed the day with my family to kind of just help me reset myself and my mental health. And it was literally such a fun day. My sister was making bank at the casino because we went to Hooters and the casino for my brother's 21st birthday. And it was just such a great time with my family and my sister's girlfriend. I really, really enjoyed myself and just lived in the moment with my family. God bless my mom because she makes sure that each one of her kids gets exactly what they want. I love it, but I also wanna give her the world right at the same time because she's just an angel. But I'm about to record my podcast, episode six. It's going to be about how to deal with your mental health when you lose a loved one. 
this podcast episode is really important to me because this Friday, actually, on February 10th, it'll be my dad's birthday. And two days after that, my dad actually passed away on the 12th of February, and that was 10 years ago. So it's it's so crazy that it's been 10 years, and that, that's what really makes February a hard month for me. But what's even more crazy is that two days ago, I lost my Uncle Frank. And I just like losing loved ones and losing people in your family, close to your heart. Like we all know it happens. I mean, I'm aware of death. I'm aware that we all end up at the same place after our lives are over. And honestly, I think that because this just happened, especially in this month where it's already a hard month for me, it's really made me just be more like, even though I already know this, and this is something I always stress about to like my mom or my boyfriend, like before you leave the house, like always say, I love you because you never know what could happen, especially leaving your house, going to your car to drive on the road with all these crazy drivers out there. So because I just lost my uncle and it's my dad's 10 year death anniversary, going to be living every single day like it's the last day that I'm alive. And whether if that means I'm having a bad day or a good day, no matter what, I'm just going to make sure that I'm finding purpose and meaning behind what I'm doing every day and always making sure to, if, if my mom wants me to do something, I should go and do it because like you just never know. And it, it just, it really hurts. I am still grieving. I'm still working on things to help better my mental health around death and around losing people in my family. It's so scary to me and I don't want to be the kind of person that is afraid of it because it happens and I have to just work on how I could just be a better person to the people who are in my lives every single day. So when stuff like that does happen, I won't feel as guilty or maybe just like what could I have done to help or whatever because I know I'm going to have left my impact and my kindness and my love with whoever that person may be. So I'm just very, very emotional and I just feel like God is always throwing things your way to test you and I'm really being tested right now. I'm going to get into this podcast, recording it. It's like week five, I think, into 2023, four. Yeah, we're about to enter week five of 2023. And honestly, I, I'm i just so glad that every day I'm thinking, you know what, let me pick up my camera and just record like what I'm doing. Let me just, and it's helping me find myself more through my content. It's helping me be more myself. And I love that for myself. The podcast was just amazing. Really spoke from the heart. I really got deep in that one. And I'm so proud of myself because it's 1.15. I have about 30 minutes to read for 10 minutes, journal for 10 minutes and set my day up for 10 minutes for tomorrow and then it's time to meditate and go to sleep but i just need to document because I'm doing it i'm just so thankful to be where i'm at i know i keep saying that i feel like i'm always gonna keep saying that because i'm i'm always just trying to express my gratitude for where i'm at and just to allow for what's to come i'm about to go to sleep i'm friday brew it's morning time and i just need my greens and i just took my gut health these two are my favorite morning staples. This is a very proud moment right now because it's Wednesday. It's 6.55 before 7 a.m. Day 36 out of 66 for the Gymshark 66 challenge. And I'm so proud of myself right now. But yes, I am just so proud of myself right now because I have been struggling recently getting up and getting my butt out early to get to the gym. It's leg day. I'm recording for my fitness app. The vibes are it, you guys. And I honestly am feeling so much gratitude right now. I just wanna take... Thank God. Life is freaking beautiful. And 
I'm here to tell you that you can do anything you set your mind to. Just takes effort, a little bit of passion from your heart. But let's get going to the gym. It's day 37 out of 66, Gymshark 66 challenge. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired because I was up all night, you guys. Honestly, my sleep was so messed up yesterday because I wound up taking like a five hour nap out of nowhere. So like unaware that was going to happen. I'm feeling good about going to the gym right now. It's eight o'clock. It's not six o'clock, but that's okay because I don't have a car. So I have to wait until my boyfriend gets home anyway to use his car to go to the gym. We're about to have a nice back day. I'm recording for my fitness app, so it's exciting. But I just wanted to check in. So it's being day 37. I am so excited because I have a lot of client work to do today. But since the date that I'm supposed to launch my fitness app is before the end of the 66 days, I'm adding a goal to my 66 Gymshark. How do you say it? How would you say it? I'm adding, I'm adding a goal to my big dream and my goals for this challenge, which is my fitness app and just making sure I give it 110% of my best effort and really soak in just doing everything. I'm so excited for it. It's going to be freaking legendary, you guys. I can't wait to get into more detail about it, but I'm on my way to babysit right now. I literally have client calls at three, four, five, six, and seven the whole time I'm babysitting. So it'll be a good time to chat and hopefully it'll fly by. All right, guys, so I'm currently turning my living room into like a little photo shoot studio. I'm gonna be using this pink paper because I wanna film some stuff for my app, but this is also a really good room for just natural lighting. And I got that pink paper gifted to me from my photographer. So I wanna put it to good use. Day 39 is a success so far. I'm feeling a lot better and I feel like the hard times I go through, they're supposed to happen. I always remind myself of that because without them, I wouldn't be as strong as I am today. So I'm just really spending a lot of time with myself today. for me to look but like i'm driving you see i'm a good driver i keep my eyes on the road i'm not expecting I'm not you to die today. <laughs> i'm not expecting okay. you to look <laughs> sing it baby you didn't know that song everyone knows i've been killed before i've got money i can't play it because you see the song I heard it before, right? Yo. It's killed before by. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, easy. I said it three No, no, but I got it. Give me the dick. Give me the dick. Give me the dick. <laughs> Good morning and happy day 44 out of 66. You guys, 20 days left. I just feel so good. We're at the gym. And just like that workout is completed. This leg day was kind of brutal. I'm not even gonna lie. On my way to me Minaj today's house, we are going to be singing happy birthday to my sister, Julia. And I got her some presents, so I'm excited. But I'm excited to see the family too. I've been seeing my family a lot recently and I really love it because we're at a better spot now I feel like in life. We're all more older, more mature. And then we also have like five little siblings. So it's like, it's crazy. Yes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fit me. I'm oh, so mad. They're so big. Why can't you send them back? Because I got them from Germany. It's going to cost more to send them back than it's going to cost more to send them They were $150. They want $400 for shipping. You're really cute. I have. Yeah, nobody wants them because they're hideous. Just wear fuzzy socks, bro. No, nobody wants them because I'm selling them for full price. It is now about 10 o'clock. I am cleaning up the house just to make sure everything is prepared and set for me in the morning. We got Callie, right, Mamas? Daddy just left for work. She gets so sad when he leaves because she's like, not gonna come back till the morning. She knows though, it's a whole routine, right, Mamas? High five. 
Oh, you give me high five before I even asked. I just am really like figuring out my routine still. And I know like throughout the 66 challenge, I don't expect like, oh my God, like, yes, on the last day, everything's gonna come together. I feel like I'm still gonna be using what I'm focusing on throughout this challenge throughout the whole year. So I'm just really so proud of myself for staying committed and showing up every day and just trying to do 1% better in all areas that I know that I, I can do better in, but also that I've been lacking in. Like I said, it's safe to say that I'm really growing. I am loving that I'm also taking all the time during this challenge, really living in the moment, not really focused on posting on social media as much and just trying to share every little thing I'm doing because I want to grow and actually feel like I'm growing. I feel like when I was on social media last challenge, during 2022, I was posting every single day. Like I'll post two reels a day, a post a day, every single day and update you guys with my journey. Although it was a great one, like don't even think that for one second it wasn't. I just was not fully focused. I could have given so much more to the challenge last year. And that's why I'm so happy this year I am. I am going to make my green tea, I'm going to vacuum and fold some laundry play some music and I'm planning to be asleep before midnight tonight so I could wake up, get ready for the gym, crush a back workout, film some content for my app, film some form videos for my clients, have a few meetings, have some client calls, edit some content and just have a flipping amazing Friday. Tomorrow's day 45, you guys. This whole thing is coming to an end soon and I don't want it to. I want it to keep going. I am evolving. Even if I don't see a huge amount of change every day, I'm just so in love with what I'm doing. And every single day I'm finding more to be blessed for, more to just want to be able to work better on. And I'm loving life. That's the most important thing. My mental health is kind of rocky, not even gonna lie. But overall, at the end of the day, I'm pulling through. I know that there's a purpose behind every single day of what I went through. And I know that every single day is an opportunity and I have faith in the future. So despite all the bad days that I may have had, I'm still finding good in every single day. Because seriously, if you wake up every single day and you are alive, breathing, although you may you know, go through things throughout the rest of that day that may challenge you, may put you in like a hurdle where you're just like, I was not expecting this. There's still ways to be thankful for things that you have, for just being where you are. And to just know that like, this is a moment, this is a, a time, right? Things change, things evolve. A moment is not going to last forever. That's why living in the moment is so important. I'm gonna stop rambling because I could talk for hours and I wanna get this stuff done so I can get to bed in the next two hours. So you guys, I will see you in the morning. I can't even lie, I'm stressing right now because doing this is a lot more work than I thought. And I'm like, <laughs> I have so much I have to do. <laughs> brain is going crazy it's literally going crazy i just have to not procrastinate one thing at a time and it will be okay everything will be fine it's day 49 i slept in this morning i had such a good night last night got so much done literally a productive penelope over here but today we're doing app work right we're gonna do a client session and just take the day slow. I'm feeling so good. I cleaned up. Even if it's clean, I will always still find something to clean. It's not the worst thing in the world to have as a habit. I'm getting ready for the day. I'm gonna get dressed for the gym. So I'm already ready to go while five o'clock rolls around. Do something with this hair later too. Main thing over the next couple hours is my app. The days are counting down. We're officially at a seven day countdown until we go live, you guys. And I don't know, I don't know. I'm nervous, I'm excited. So let's just get started with our day. Okie dokie, we are off to go hit some legs, you guys. And I feel really good. <laughs> yeah, that's my place. I'm a fitness trainer, so. I gotta record content.
Yeah. I can give you my website. How nice. Yo, God is so good. You guys, uh, literally, that was so sweet. She was like looking for a fitness trainer and she lives right across the street from me. Like, oh my God. And I just airdropped her my website and we got to chat. She's so nice. That is so pretty. Hold on. Look at how beautiful. So pretty, so pretty. All right, I am about to go train a client and meet, ah, and meet up with her at the gym. But other than that, we're going to have a great back day. I feel so good. I fed myself like two hours ago. The fuel is there, but let me listen to my podcast. Welcome back, guys. It is day 51, and I'm about to go hit legs. I'm breaking out, and I feel like that's because I'm low-key just like grinding my ass off and not really getting decent. It's like I'm getting eight hours of sleep, but it's not the best sleep. I'm still, I've always been somebody to struggle with sleep, so I'm working on it. It's not bad every day, but I could definitely tell that my sleep recently has been affecting my skin, but we are on a journey to get this clear in the next couple months. All right, but I gotta wake up. We got my beam pre-workout. Cold Chris saves you 10%. And this is my Hydro Drug Shaker Cup. Cold Chris Fit saves you 10%. Literally such an amazing pre-workout. Ah, I just opened my new container today and I'm quite genuinely obsessed, but I lost a piece to my tripod and I need that piece to connect to the tripod to put my phone on it. I'm praying it's at the gym. Because if not, I need a new tripod. But let's just go at the gym, you guys. All right, I just had to take a sec because I just like need to stretch. I am like, oh, I feel like I blink and I'm at the gym. I blink I'm at, and I'm at the gym. It's so funny, but we're doing a glute and hammy day. Oh. oh. God, I always try to just rush into there, but today I just need to take a second. <sighs> Day 51, man. Ah! Right, we're out of the gym. We got Chipotle and I picked up a penny on heads. It is a good day. It's so beautiful out. It's literally like 70 degrees in February. I'm wearing shorts, like who is she? But I'm about to go home, grab this food, start working on my app. We have a whole planned day ahead of us, but I'm really excited to eat. <laughs> we're at the desk. We are getting ready for some work. I uh, like did some skin stuff and my skin is like looking better. It's a little bit red, but I'm just like, I feel so beautiful. Hey, Cal, how are you? How are you? Oh, you need to come say hi, come here. Oh, gee, girl. Oh, your babies. Mm. Say hi, everybody. My name's Carolee, and I'm Mommy's Princess. Mm-hmm. Are you Mommy's Princess? Yeah, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? We got into the gym. Already ate. Spent some time with my boyfriend. Talked to my mom. Like, I got a lot done, so I can focus on this for the next, like, six hours. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. It is day 52 and here she comes, California. I start talking and she's up my butt. And I feel kind of exhausted actually today. I got good sleep, but I'm just, I need a day to rest from the gym. I've been going so hard recently and I need to just give a little break and we'll be right back at it tomorrow. Good morning, it's day 55, you guys, it's day 55, okay? I look a hot mess, I just woke up, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, it's a Monday morning, I literally have like a pimple right here, and I'm like, I've been scratching at it, I'm right here on my nose. Perfect, right? Guys, I am literally so excited, in a little bit over 24 hours, I am launching my fitness app. 
there's like no way there's like it just it's insane to me and i'm just so excited it's, yeah we're just going to get ready for the day i'm gonna go to the gym i gotta shower and do something with this crazy hair uh, i'm so excited and i'm excited to have you guys here side note are you done are you done are you done <laughs> but anyway i was just sitting here thinking like it's launch day and it is day 56 of the gym shark 66 challenge like what there's just no way that we're already this far in and i'm so sad because i don't want it to end but it is launch day i have so much to do for my fitness app that i'm launching still i'm gonna launch around like four o'clock this afternoon it is roughly like 12 now so just very excited and i'm kind of tired because i was up till 4 a.m last night working on this because i'm just like so excited and i just could not sleep because i'm just so nervous but happy tuesday it is february 28th the last day of february and i'm like so ready for a new month so ready to start fresh it's going to be an amazing day and i'm so so excited the energy is here everything is so high and i could not be more thankful so let me get to work but i'll update you guys real soon we are officially less than two hours away from lunch and i cannot put into words right now how i'm feeling because i'm feeling so much i'm feeling nervous excited I'm feeling so good, so happy, motivated to just work. And I'm just so like proud of myself, honestly, because this is such a surreal moment. And I'm just so excited for the future. There's gonna be so much to come to this app as to oppose of what I have on there now. This is just the beginning. And I'm so excited for this journey with you guys and for you guys to get access to my app. But I gotta get back to work and finish this up and I'll check in during lunch time. Bad makes me happy, it's tragic. I'm at my mom's house. I'm gonna come out here and help her and then go home and get ready for a good day tomorrow and get good sleep. But I launched my app and I'm getting such positive feedback already. I just am so excited for this year. I genuinely cannot wait and I'm just so thankful. But I'm gonna get inside. And this month coming up, March, since it's March 1st tomorrow, my siblings who are my foster siblings, they're actually getting adopted. So I'm very excited because I can film them and then upload this and I have more siblings. It's literally crazy, but we'll get into that in another video, but I'm going to go inside. I'll show you. Okay. Say roar! Okay, so I got some packages. This one is from Abel, and I'm pretty sure this is the National Woman's T-shirt. Ooh, the color is so cute. I got a medium in this because I wanted an oversized T-shirt. Ooh, that is so soft. Yo. Okay, first of all, I didn't know that it said this. I love this because it says Mission Possible. Like, this is actually on my on my podcast. Like, it fades from impossible into I'm possible. And I just love this message. But I'm definitely wearing this when it is National Women's Day. Thank you, Ava. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday, and I'm getting ready for the gym. We are feeling so good. It is the first of March. Can't even see your face. <laughs> Let's get ready to go to the gym. Hey, that was probably one of the best workouts I've had for back day in such a long time. I feel really good, but I also have to go to the bathroom really bad. Now it's time to go home. I have client calls. I got to edit my YouTube video. I want to post some content since my app is now live. So many good things coming. It's a good start to a new month. I was happy day 58, even though I am exhausted. My whole entire family has been sick over the last two weeks. And I just pray that I'm not getting sick at the end of this because that would be so upsetting. But we're going to do a nice quick shoulder day with some Stairmasters. 
things are great. Thank you, thank you. I am so tired, it's not even funny. Happy day 58, you guys. I am still feeling a little bit sick. You can see it in my face. Not feeling the greatest, but I'm getting it better. I'm actually going to see my mom and my siblings today. Oh my God, what did she do to my face? We're all gonna go head down to AC to just spend some time together, but I'm with my puppy right now. And as you could tell my face, I've been sleeping a lot, but it's fine. We're gonna be okay. All right, you guys, it is raining outside. I'm just taking my dog out one more time before I leave. I need to put chapstick on, but I am all pinked out. I got the pink Uggs that my mom got me, matching with a velvet pink cozy shirt, and of course my hair and my nails, but these shoes, bro, they're so cute. Oh wait, I think there's a sticker. Let me take that off. But I'm so excited just because I get to spend time with family and hopefully it's a chill night because i'm actually exhausted and i don't really feel like doing anything crazy i just want to get good food and listen to some good music go are you gonna miss me <laughs> she's like i don't care about you mommy i'm outside i'm outside <laughs> we are here mom do you have the key to the car oh i do sorry that's okay we're here. Wait, wait. Let's get a pic on you guys. I look a little, a little out of it. I was sick for like two days, give or take. And I'm finally getting myself to feel better. But the only thing is, is my body has like been on an overnight schedule for the past five days. And I feel like it's because I did overnight for so long, as you may or may not know, I did work overnight for three years, but I've also struggled with sleep for so long. And right now I'm about to reorganize my bedroom. I love a good reset. It's March, a new month, and I'm gonna spring clean soon. So a good change of scenery is always amazing for me. I feel like with my ADHD and my OCD, I just thrive off of change every six to 12 months or so in like my own home. I'm going to be organizing, getting rid of stuff. I am currently eating some chocolates and waffles. Say hi, mamas. She thinks that's for her, but it's really not. We're actually going to be changing around the whole layout of the room. Love how nice this looks compared to what it looked like. I would say two months ago. So we're not really gonna do much out here. Just more so the bedroom, the closet, and stuff along that nature. Cow, what are you doing? You're not gonna help mommy, huh? You're just gonna be in the way. It's all right, but uh, let's get to work because I got a lot to do and I wanna save some of my energy.
What a long day. It is 9.30. I've been up for 24 hours. I'm feeling okay. It's about to be 10 o'clock. I need to show you the room. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Stop. <laughs> Bro, stop. <laughs> I love up there. It looks so good. And up here. So good. But I organized everything. We changed the way that is. We put a mirror here. The TV's still there. My weights. So much more space. Whoa, Callie. Whoa. Are you done? <laughs> Go. The bed is my favorite part because of the TV, and then my baby's desk is right here. What? That was so weird. How did that just turn on? Interesting. Got a whole basket of laundry to do after I folded three today, but it's okay. I'm going to get to work. I'm at the gym right now, by the way. Because I just launched my fitness app, I am trying to get a program together by the middle of March, maybe to put out in April. I'm not really 100% sure when yet. I just want to get some workouts posted of what I do weekly. So today I'm just going to do full legs on machines only i don't think i'm going to record i just want to be in the moment i just want to record for my app so i can get more uploaded on there but i'm going to get inside because i am actually pretty hungry and i can't wait to come home and eat and get to work i got a lot of stuff to do but this workout is going to get me feeling good. I already know it. Literally, just like I said, I was in and out. I still recorded. I had a really nice leg day, to be honest, with the five machines that I used, but it was basic, but very effective. And I'm ready to go eat and get to work. I have a lot to do today. I'm just excited to get back into my grind. It's been like a rough four or five days because I got sick, just was not feeling like myself so i listened to my body and now we feel amazing which is a very very good thing but let's get going home and i will update you guys soon here we go day 63 and i'm just like what i i i don't know i don't know how it's already day 63 like this is insane. I'm on my way to the gym right now. And I feel like I've only been talking to you guys a lot on my way to the gym. That's because I've been putting in the work and really like making sure that I'm figuring out a good system for me to do what it is that I am trying to do. But I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to say hello. My body is so sore today and I just woke up around, I think I woke up at like five then seven and then nine and i was just like you know what i'm glad that i stayed in bed till nine because my body did not want to get up i got seven hours of sleep i did pretty good work last night so i feel really good i just have to adjust those like three hours that i'm struggling with when i go to bed i start my my night routine at 8 p.m where i'm off my phone but then as soon as 10 30 hits I just get like a creative drive and next thing you know it's 2 a.m. and I just did four hours of work and then of course I'm trying to wake up around like 5 5 30 maybe even a little bit earlier than five some days because I really want to have a full hour I don't have to do anything else but what I'm doing in my morning routine so though we've made huge progress I am just like ready to take this to the next level and the fact that it's the end of this challenge like it's getting me excited for what's to come next but i am on my way to the gym as i said and i am going to be hitting some back today oh my god i thought i just built my pre-workout 
God damn. Everybody's out today. He's trying to turn. Damn. One more car. I I don't even care that I waited that extra long. I always try to be extra safe. As I was saying, I want to do some deadlifts and work on just my range of motion, moving my body, because I feel like when I got sick for five days not lifting, it really did not a lot of damage, but it just set me back a couple steps. So I'm just taking it like slow this week, but I am also building a program for my app. So I'm going to be starting a new program soon, which is cool, but I have to get it all laid out and then set up a recording schedule so I can have it for you guys. And then I'm actually going to do the entire program with you, which is gonna be so fun. But I just wanna get in the zone today, kind of like I did yesterday. I want to just get in and out. I was in the gym in less than an hour and 15 minutes and out, like got everything done. I even recorded for my app, which was nice, but it was a little bit crowded, not even gonna lie. And I hope today it's not. So let's just pray for a great workout, good energy, good vibes, and let's get these gains well 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 you guys it is day 66 out of 66 of the gymshark 66 challenge can we get a round of applause seriously because i did that i went really hard this week and i was also recovering from being sick so i'm tuning in with myself which made me so happy because now i'm able to sit down and record and feel good about doing it because i took care of myself today but I cannot believe it is the last day of this challenge. This weekend, I am really going to be reflecting on the entire past two and a half months or so. I'm going to record a podcast. I'm going to edit a YouTube video all about this journey, but I just had to document the last day because it flew by so fast and I'm just in shock, we're already here. But I'm ready to turn it up a notch and take things to the next level. I feel like this is exactly what I needed to start out 2023 off to a very high note. And I did face a lot of challenges, like don't get me wrong, but throughout those challenges came growth. And that's why I'm just feeling so great because I'm constantly leveling up. I'm constantly getting better. It's 1% better every single day. And for me, that is everything. So I'm just really excited where I'm at and what's to come in the future. But let me just talk about my day since it was the last day. I woke up around 7 a.m. I did my morning routine. I took everything really nice and slow. I was not on my phone for the entire morning, which was so nice because I was able to journal and just be in the moment in my mor morning routine. I meditated, I stretched, I got a lot of good things done for my soul and it felt really nice and making sure that i'm prepared for next week to get back into a full routine because i am building a program right now that i'm going to be doing once i launch it on the 20th of march i feel so great right now and i'm just very excited to get into some work tonight it's about to be 10 p.m and i woke up around 7 30 got to answer some of my clients and now i'm just about to do some work get myself prepared for the weekend so i can be on schedule with what i need to get done i want to reflect on the last 66 days and come up with a plan of what i'm about to do for the next 60 maybe 90 days i don't know i want to maybe do like a 75 hard something similar to that we're gonna figure it out because i really loved following a challenge it held me accountable and I think that it just pushes me to really go hard and give it my all during that time frame. And I really feel like I did this past 66 days. So we're just about to take it to the next level. I just can't wait for what's to come because I just know that I had such a great first two months of the year. And I just really wanna make the next three months before summer great so I can enjoy my summer and just be proud that I put in the work that I did the first half of the year. It's gonna be a great year, 2023. You feel so good.